best programming language to learn. Hi and welcome again Tech Checkers for another session of Tech Checkers channel. Actually you can evaluate programming languages by getting a well paid job, creating a computer game, the next future programming language, being an entrepreneur, being an awesome nerd that wants to be the best programmer ever, competition. All of these things are done perfectly awesome by different languages. Let's start with my favorite that's C Sharp because C Sharp is used a lot in the manufacturing industry and in industries all together like finances as well. It's very similar to Java which is probably one of the most used languages and C Sharp is the number one for Windows programming and for games. Most of the games now, most of the 3D simulations and virtual reality simulations are done with C Sharp and Unity. If you want to become a programmer in the games industry, you should learn C Sharp. Number two, the future. Kotlin is at the moment one of the biggest future bets. The thing is that with Kotlin, you can use the Kotlin code and compile it to Java code. It means that you can make Android apps totally with Kotlin now, which is faster, easier to write, easier to read, easier to maintain. And even Google says they want Kotlin developers for Android apps more than Java apps now. So there's a huge chance in the job market. Number three, JavaScript. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to make a super awesome app out there or you want to test something, you want a very fast solution. JavaScript is used in every single website. The downside of JavaScript is that there are a lot of frameworks. Everyone can somehow write JavaScript. There's no standard way of coding. So a lot of people might end up using TypeScript instead of JavaScript. And then others say, no, JavaScript is the best way to do. Very confusing. Anyway, it's a good and awesome for entrepreneurs. And if you want to test something out and you don't want to be the best programmer ever, you just want some solutions, then you should probably go for JavaScript. Then Python. Python is very good. A lot of people like Python, especially in machine learning. So if you want to do something with AI, then you should definitely learn Python. You can do a lot of things with Python. I think Facebook and YouTube is written in Python backend. Yeah, so it works very well there. You can do data analysis, SQL queries, machine learning with uh, TensorFlow. Python is very trending at the moment. A lot of people love it because it's so clean and it's very fast and it works so well. So it's really awesome to, to test it out. Actually in China, they all do Python now. So I think that's really important to know how to read and write Python. No code frameworks. At the moment, there's a lot of frameworks outside in this world that work without coding anything, like Firebase, for example, is really awesome. Or for example, if you want to make a website, then you could use WordPress, you know, or you could use a Squarespace. Or for landing pages, you don't have to code them. You can just simply use Instapage or Unbounce or Wix.com, one of these services that will basically just create you the same result, but without having to code, without having to learn to code. This is really something that you will see more in the future. Also, as it is very scalable, it will just help you a lot. Just use the tools, everything that could give you an unfair advantage. If you are one of these tech guys then C++ might be an interesting option for you. It is paid a lot and everywhere C++ people are being needed. C++ is very old and uh, it's a bit more tricky because you have to do your own memory management. Did, did I say Java before? I think Java is actually one of the most learned languages uh, especially in university. So we had our Java course there and it's very widely spread especially for servers and these things. Java is very fast, very powerful. And then there's this whole Apple world and some people say that Apple uh, might be super awesome because not so many people have Apple. And of course, the, the App Store is better paid than the Android Store. So if you want to make apps, you should definitely go for the Apple version of it. You should use Swift for that. All right, that's it for now. I think that's my 10 cents for what languages to learn. You should, you should really go for the language that you love most. If you want to make games, then it's C Sharp and Unity. If you want to make web sites, then you should, it's definitely JavaScript, HTML, CSS. So especially JavaScript. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you should also use JavaScript and all these tools, of course, that I mentioned before, the web services like Zapier or all these things where you can really get something very fast, especially um, Firebase. If you want to do something with data and machine learning, then you should really go for Python. Also, if you're a first time programmer, I would advise you to go to C Sharp and Unity and make games because it's a lot of fun and visualization and uh, virtual reality is a bright future, I think in the next 10 years. And there's also a lot of machine learning uh, stuff out there for Unity. For example, for self-driving cars and who doesn't want to create his own self-driving car? I mean, that's awesome. So in the future, if you want to be future ready and you want to take the risks, then you should probably learn Dart with Flutter and make apps because Flutter is a tool where you can make one app super, super fast and it works on Android, iOS, but it's, it's very new. So we don't have so many people using it. Um, I don't know if you would really get so many jobs that use Dart. It's probably difficult to find some jobs there. In the future, maybe it's different. So. Check it out. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye, you tech checker.